Howdy, howdy, howdy. Let's talk the pros and cons of the hot dog cart business, or as I like to call it, the positives and negatives. And these here are the facts. 100%, nothing held back. The pros and cons of the hot dog cart business. I'm Ben, and not that dang long ago, my wife and I lost everything, and we were near bout homeless, and we were on food stamps. It was a big hit to my ego, not to mention my wallet. Then I discovered hot dog vending. And although I'm biased now and after what it did for me, and now after helping over 40,000 other people, just like you, just like me, leave their current job, stop driving trucks and a wedge in between their marriages, stop working and making others rich, stop missing the kids and grandkids ball games. And the list goes on and on. I will give you exactly 100% factual and real world current pros and cons of the hot dog business. One negative that does it for you. So we'll do those first. The cons, the negatives. Contrary to the woo-woo slingers and promoters of their products who'd have you believe this is the easiest business in the world and that every day you make thousands and the cart will automatically clean itself and fairies and unicorns will visit you at night to deliver bonus cash. I'm here to tell you no. Absolute BS. Vending, especially for a beginner, is hard work. And for those experienced vendors, it's still work. It's not deadliest catch type work, but it's still work. And don't get me wrong. My daughters, when they were 16, were running their own carts. In the beginning, you have some obstacles. These are the cons. It means pausing the Netflix, Jerry Springer reruns, and, and making some calls and doing some searches online. The startup is what gets most of us, and it's because some of these can be very challenging. Many leave before they get started. Here's the breakdown. You have licensing, permits, finding a free commissary, insurance, food safety, finding a location. And as soon as you do all that stuff, you got inventory to buy, prep work, and that dreaded thing called cleanup. There's marketing and maintenance, and believe it or not, some vendors have told me that they hated working with the public, and it took them a while to get used to that. You also must work around the weather or find sheltered areas where the customers will still come. This requires having backup locations and backups for those backups, and I'm still not done. There's obstacles like when a vendor goes to a get a business license in a city and the city clerk says, hey, vending isn't allowed inside the city limits. Your first thought is it's over. Dream is dead, but nope, I cover this on the blog and it's illegal for a city to do that, but it can still feel overwhelming at the time. And after helping thousands and thousands of vendors become successful and independent, I've seen another challenge that will happen to some. It's the, you are your own boss problem. The problem of never having been independent and no one to tell you to get off the couch or that work starts at 10 a.m., And for some, this new freedom becomes a crutch. It causes them to struggle in the in the beginning and, and having to be self-motivated and with a drive that is enough to push you to get out of the bed or get off the couch and actually go vend. And that's it. That's all the negatives in a nutshell. And what I'm about to share, well, it's the best part. It's my favorite part. And anyone with half an eye will be able to see that the pros far outweigh any negatives or cons so far. It's really mind-blowing. But but how did I do? I want to know how I did. I already told you that I was biased, and yet I just delivered 100% truthful list of the negatives and cons of this business. So before I begin with the pros, the positives, let's just say this. Those first negatives on my list, they are they are once and done type things. You do them once. And for most people, it can be accomplished in a day to three days. And never again will you have to do those again. And most are, are part of opening any business, not just street food vending. So let's get started with the positives. And the real reason you're probably still listening to this old ball headed hillbilly anyway, if you like independence, if you've ever wanted to take the day off or for that matter, the entire week, and not have to play like you just caught Ebola when you call your boss and beg for the time. Or you have to plan it six months in advance and request it. Or maybe you just want, you've dreamed of having a little money left before the month is out, instead of having lots of months left and no money. 
Or maybe you just want an income that you can control. One that pays you for your time, efforts, labor, and doesn't require 40, 50, and 60-hour work weeks. One that allows you to take the kids to the dentist without anyone's permission. One that lets you never miss another ball game with your grandkids. One that lets you enjoy this one life we get to its fullest. To go fishing. To take a day and read a book all freaking day long. Or hand over $500 to your adult daughter who spent all her money on crap instead of paying her bills first. And at the same time, never having to really miss that $500 because you and I both know you'll never see it again. To be able to put a $100 bill in the fireman's boot instead of a coupon off the big bottle of liquid Tide down at the Piggly Wiggly. To, to actually be able to help others because you have income that is real. Or maybe you've always wanted to have a hobby, like a collecting cash hobby. It's one of my favorites. Real cash. You know the, 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 you know the type I'm talking about. Green pieces of paper with dead president pictures on it. Or maybe you just want to get out of that big rig. See your wife more than once every 10 days and actually watch your kids grow up in person, not through Skype or FaceTime. Or maybe you've, you're retired now and, and you just need a couple grand a month to make the retirement all that much more better. Or maybe you've been in the military or have been a police officer and want something different. You want something that pays you closer to your value and not just enough to keep you broke. You know, that reminds me, my dad used to say a job stands for just over broke, J-O-B, just over broke. Anyway, I don't know your reasons, but no matter what they are, here's what you can expect. Short hours and long pay translates to you working less and making more. You can work when you want. You never have to call a boss ever again. You can, you can determine your income. And I actually show you the step by step how that's done. Over on the blog, and I'll put I'll put links for you. If you want to find, if you, well, put it this way: if you want to make a hundred dollar a day, then then that's great. That's it. That's easy. You want to work three days a week and make about a thousand dollar? Well, that's easy too. Okay. You want to work just four months a year and take the other eight off? Well, you certainly can. And I have proof of real life vendors doing just that for years now. And let's say you want to be like some of the vendor. In our, in our Vendors United group members who, who make over 250000 a year and some well over that. Thank you so much, Ben. I could never have done this without you. I did it. Still doable, even in a small town. And yep, though, it's a lot of work and dedication too. But nonetheless, a result that you can and will have if you so choose. It's hole digging type stuff, but without the blisters, the shovel or the back breaking work, but obtainable. If you can follow some simple instructions, it's, it's why I often use my whole digging analogy. Want to hear it real quick? Sure you do. Okay. Let's, let's, let's assume you've never seen a shovel nor heard how to dig a hole. Now you and I are standing in the front yard and I grab the shovel and stick it in the ground. Step one is done. I then lift out a scoop of dirt. Step two is done. And bam, just like that, I have a hole. Anyone with a shovel and can follow two-step directions can get a hole. And anyone and everyone that does it will get a hole every time. No luck involved. No way around it. Even if you use the wrong end of the shovel, you'd still get a hole. Probably take you a lot longer, but you'd get one. You are your own boss. And for many, as I mentioned in the cons can be dangerous. No one is going to make you get off the couch and pause the Jerry Springer reruns. You have to be self-directed and have the motivation to move forward. If you aren't that sort of person, then save yourself now. Otherwise you'll end up with an expensive, although shiny new piece of yard art. And I don't sell carts for the sake of selling carts. If I did, I'd have tons of videos on the pros of the business and never once mention all the negatives. My addiction is to helping you succeed. And if you aren't self-directed and self-motivated, then you're going to have a hard uphill climb, which usually results in a shiny new cart that never gets used. Another positive or pro of this business is you can start with little to no money. I even have proof of that too. Hundreds of vendors who've started with nearly nothing 
Like the lady who started completely broke from a pay-by-the-week hotel room. She literally started from out of her pay-by-the-week hotel room. Or the chef in Florida who had a fold-up table and a crock pot and a flea market. Or the lady on the side of the dirt road with no cart and could only afford two packs of hot dogs who weeks later got a cart and weeks after that got a food trailer. In fact, you can and others have started without spending one red cent. I'll share the links for that if you like down below. And for those with little money or very little to start, the business can be started even easier with a used cart or or you can build a cart. I have a course about it. It's at buildacart.com, buildacart.com. There's my plug. And to be fair, some vendors struggle at first. They attempt to wing it. They attempt to dig a hole on top of concrete or without a shovel. I know a vendor who who became a dear friend that struggled. I mean, struggled like mad and not because he tried to shortcut the system, but he was in a crappy area. In his first year, he barely made 35000 But his second year, he more than tripled that figure. And that change came because he took one tip from us, a tip that changed everything. I share that and how, how to quickly overcome any hurdles or obstacles you might run across over at the blog at learnhotdogs.com. It's all free information. And there's more, like the different ways you can make money in the business. These are the pros. There's more of them, like never working the street, like drop-off catering, like owning a commissary, renting carts, and the list goes on and on. Benefits of the business include starting with little to no real investment other than time, having something you can sell if you decide to leave the business that will make you far more than you can imagine. The fact that there is a... A no risk, period. And I have proof, real life vendor proof. The fact that anyone can do it, that no luck or magic fairy dust is involved, no hopping backwards on one foot counterclockwise while holding a crow's feather. You can start with nothing. You can start with 4,500 and have a brand new cart and licensing and food to stock and insurance and everything. But think about this for less than 5,000. What real legitimate business can you start and be in the black that's in the profit within days? Most businesses take, they're in the red, okay? They're in the red because of their investments for up to five years. And you can be in the black literally within a few weeks, within some have done it within days. And, but the average is just a few weeks. And if you absolutely hate it, Absolutely, you did it, you tried it, you're like, ah, I don't like this, I don't like the short hours and big pay. You can sell the cart, often for more than you paid for it. What business can you do that with? I know of only one. I thank you for listening. If you have any questions, enter them, email me, whatever you got to do, contact me, and I'll help you out. I wanted to update the pros and cons list. I wanted to help you. If you're just hearing this for the first time, don't know where to begin, go to learnhotdogs.com. You can grab all kinds of free training, free information. There's literally over a thousand articles, over a thousand videos, all free for the taking. Go have fun. Go enjoy it. Change your life. Change what you're doing today and everything will follow. Everything will change. If you know, you know, the, 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 the old quote, I'm sure you've heard it. You know, Einstein is, is, is the one that's been given credit for saying it. It probably was. He said, that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Well, guess what? Is that if you want to change, you want positive change in your life, you want things to be different, you want things to be better, you want more spendable income, you want to be able to take weeks off at a time if you so choose, then you got to change things. You got to change things. And what I have found besides all the all the hoopla about, you know, cryptocurrencies and invest in this and learn how to sell on eBay or Amazon or whatever. This is real. It's bona fide and it works for every single person that follows the steps. It never fails ever. The only way it fails is when the person gives up or the person doesn't follow the steps. And typically they give up if they ain't been following the steps. Now I will grant some quit just because they hate it. They hate it. So that's the honest truth. 
That is the fact. You can talk to over 30,000 vendors over on our Facebook page. You can join Vendors United if you like, and you can talk to hundreds of vendors that are at your beck and call that will help you out. Pro vendors there all over the world to help you. I thank you for listening. I love you. 